back to my channel. If you are coming back, this is my lovely girlfriend. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's Kiana. Um, today we're going to do a Q&A. Um, just so y'all can get to know us a little bit better. Only because they asked for it. Yeah, and one person asked for it, to be fair. What was your first impression of me? Oh, I thought you were really cute and really he nice. You like a dog? No, and really nice and sweet. And I really enjoyed talking to you. And I really love the sound of your voice. I know that doesn't... I know, but your voice. Do you think that honesty is always the best policy in a relationship? Yes. Um, I don't think you should have secrets in a relationship. Um, I feel like if you do, well, there really is no relationship. If you feel the need to hide something from your significant other, you know, and even feel that you can't rely on to tell like what you're doing I don't know like if you feel like you have to be sneaky about it like then maybe you're not with the right person I don't know that's just yeah what I feel if you feel like you need to keep the secret <coughs> you shouldn't be doing it what was our first kiss like and how did it make you feel well we missed well you missed I went in for the kiss right I went I in shy I went in, I went my nighty, and she like went 10 this way and just was totally off and yeah, I was a little, so I was a little embarrassed after that, but yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. And the, yeah, and then after we kissed, right, but at that moment I was super embarrassed. Okay. Uh, what's one thing that helps you feel connected to me? Well... <clears throat> like, is there we're some... always, like, I guess we're all handsy, you're always touching me, um, if, like, you're not touching me, you know, and not, you just, you know, holding my hand, or on car rides, you're, you know, you put your hand on my thigh, or, if you're not touching me, I feel like there's something wrong. But I guess you can say that the way you caress me and hold me is one way I feel connected to you. What's your favorite memory of our early dating days? Well, well, I, I guess when we first, like that first. I guess it was a, what a week that we hung out. I mean, we had we had a we you had didn't, yeah, it was a whole week. And you didn't even go. We we'd known each other, right? So mm -hmm. it's not it was like just we did. like we were reconnecting. Yeah, but more on a on a personal level, you know, like on a, you know. <clears throat> you'll get you'll get a story time on that later. <laughs> it's her. It's a whole ass. It's, it's a whole ass story very dramatic ass story but yeah you don't want to miss that shit <clears throat> um we well, had yeah, just our first week together i know i took one of my friends um but just hanging out with you holding your hand for the first time um, going to sixth street for the first time we went to the piano bar that place was pretty cool it was it was low-key i know you were probably like yeah let's go to the club and we went to the piano bar. I don't know if y'all ever heard of that. I toned down because of we that. <laughs> we we paid the guy. And I think I told him to sing what candy shop. Or I don't know what it was. Yeah, but yeah. But like he he will play any song. Yeah, on the piano. Do it. Yeah, that place was pretty cool. <clears throat> it's real like if you like going to sit down and like chill, listen to music, kind have a beer be or something. To talk, yeah. Not yell. Um, yeah. It's a cool place to take, I guess, a girl. Okay, what's your favorite thing about our relationship? Um, I like how 
close we are. Um, I like how we literally do anything together. <clears throat> um, I like how I can rely on you. That's one thing that I've learned being in this relationship is I can go to you like on my knees and be literally like I have nothing to offer you like nothing and you're just willing to just scoop me up and like come here, come here. but yeah that's one thing I really en enjoy and like about our relationship is how connected we are yeah I like that also I mean I've never had that I mean I've been in chingles of relationships and I've never had what we have, <clears throat> what we have now, you know, in the past. But I guess shit wasn't real before when it is now, right? Mm -hmm. um, what motivates you to pursue your goals? To one day have a family and a house and maybe a business. Uh, but I want a family with you. And I want to raise a kid or two. And uh, yeah, so... That's why I have to work hard and finish school and eventually all that stuff will come. What do you find the most attractive about me? Your eyeballs, you yeah. know? But I really like the way you look at me. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Me. Did we answer the other one? Which one? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, you meant it, but I said it. <laughs> <laughs> you meant it too, damn it. Okay, but she was gonna say it. We were gonna hang up, and she was like, oh, "I almost said it," and I was like, "Just say it. I love you too." Yeah, I was half asleep, <laughs> and yeah. So you meant it. <clears throat> yeah, I guess you can say that. But yeah, I was half asleep, and then I said it slightly. And then you're like, what? <laughs> and then you said it, and yeah, so technically you said it first. How can we grow together as a couple so we don't drift apart? I feel like we need to communicate um, as often as we can, even when we're not happy with each other. I feel like communication is key no matter what. Um, yeah, next question. Is it my turn to ask? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see. Was there another question? Oh, yeah. I asked that. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> what about me is the hardest for you to understand? Your patience. <laughs> and how, like, you're just so patient with anybody and everybody. And understanding yeah. and that's one thing I really try to learn from her because it can be any situation she can be put I don't know and she's just she's not overreact like because I overreact <clears throat> okay. Um, what's one thing I've changed your mind about? Um, I went through it too. What's one thing you changed my mind about? I can answer it first if you want. Well, no. Now you're making me think. <coughs> Excuse me. That it doesn't matter how long you don't speak. You, you know, like, we didn't talk forever because she was always in a relationship. Always. But I've always liked her. And, yeah, like, I thought that when we, you came to visit and stuff like that, like, I honestly thought it was going to be awkward and 
But like we hit it off like nothing. There was no lost time. So I guess one thing he changed my mind about is distance and time and it doesn't matter. Like it's the people that make the relationship. before how how be like before I used to just wear I mean I'm wearing black right now right but before that's all I used to wear <laughs> like that's all like I didn't wear white I didn't wear red I didn't wear anything else except black and like gray and maybe a dark blue but no I mean and green and I mean like now I'm more comfortable in my own skin so you've changed my mind about that it's like color of the world <laughs> Yeah, it was all just black and gray and black and gray and blue and black and gray and green. Dark green. Oh, and another thing huh. is that it doesn't matter like how broken the person is. Like, he still loves me. Because I do things. I wouldn't die. When we first started dating, I kind of just, um, I just assumed you were good. I just kind of like, okay, well, I'm going to give her a chance and like, I'm going to trust her. And then like, once you, once shit starts happening, then people start, you know, things change. Yeah. Like my trust for you changes, but, but no, I mean, that shit hasn't happened. Thank you for watching i hope you guys like our q a just so y'all can get to know us a little bit better um, i got more stuff coming more stuff with my beautiful girlfriend um, but yeah you got anything you want to say no okay well thanks for watching like comment subscribe see you next time